Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Minecraft with Zul'jin. So, as you can see, I planted a few reeds. I had to run around grabbing some, and um, if we are hoping to get some enchantment going, we're definitely going to need some bookshelves, some more bookshelves. So, I went ahead and just did this for now. Uh, naturally, we're going to make... Uh, a harvesting system later but right now I have a couple more projects that I'd like to do in mind what I think I'm gonna start with is a forge and our storage room needs to be expanded as well I did quite a bit of off-screen mining um, started a branch mine like I had mentioned I would and for those of you who's not sure about what a branch mine is I'll show you uh, it went very well so far found a few diamonds uh, found quite a bit of redstone up to my iron count as well and haven't got into much trouble with that a couple of creepers blew up on me but I had a little bit of warmer, so it wasn't that bad. Okay, so I'm going to plant a few more reeds, just so we can continue this. And I really don't like the way this looks, so this is going to be only temporary. But as you can see, we got quite a few reeds from that. So I'm just going to continue to border and probably after the next harvest we will make a little form inside but my main concern right now is just getting getting plenty to where we can get those bookshelves and suit up we got some serious enchanting to do and the spider spawner works great by the way the uh... the output is pretty great doesn't take too long. It's not as dangerous as it was when we first had it. And I kind of know how to operate in there now. So it's definitely a good thing. Let's see. Still five. Huh? This should do it right here. Perfect. Now we got some serious reeds growing. They're already starting to pop up. That's good. So let's get back inside we got a, a ton of cobblestone by the way and we're gonna go ahead and make the forge inside our base it's not gonna be on the outside or its own structure we're just gonna extend off of that hall which already kinda started gathering cobblestone up for the project here and I think you're gonna like it with the new texture packs and stuff so the first thing I want to do is grab some leather because that's going to be the floor in the forge and I think we have some cobble cooking yep that is going to be for some of the half slabs that we'll need the half slabs are going to look pretty good I believe um, for what we're going to use them for and when you get half slabs with this texture pack it comes out to a real fine stone, stone slab which is cool another thing is for an incinerator we're gonna need lava an incinerator has a practical purpose of just being able to throw in junk uh, we don't have a whole lot of that yet but we will so I'm just gonna extend down this hall a little bit and I know it's not gonna be ideal but I think I'd like it a little off of this wing. I think that is going to be cool. And we're going to refine the edging of this hall into cobble and stuff and smooth. But right now we're just going to make it through here. I should probably start putting them on the wall anyway. Yeah, there's going to be a little bit of maintenance in here. So yeah, the branch mine was pretty successful. I'm 
quite glad with it. Ran into a few complications with lava, but I didn't lose any real important materials. And I got enough redstone, y'all, to wire up the, my entire hometown. <laughs> So that's going to be really, really good. And let's see. Should we go one more? I think that'll be good right here. I wanted to leave a little space open. And let's light this. And I want to clean this up right away. I don't want any of that stuff showing. Much better. The outside will spruce up after a little while as well, but for now, this will be fine. And I'm still holding on to that diamond pick, by the way. Not using it until I, I go ahead and enchant it. I want full durability. I'm kind of hoping to get about 30 levels worth of experience before I drop an enchantment on that one. That's why it's so important that those reeds grow. Um, you can imagine my surprise when I did some trial testing for enchanting just to see what kind of levels I can get with... Uh, with my current bookshelves, I couldn't get much past, I think, 12 or 13. So I was like, yeah, we're going to have to fix that. But not a huge deal. Okay. So let's see how many spaces I have here. I don't want to break into that at all. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Is that back wall? One, two, three, four, five, six is the back wall. So one, two, yeah, that's too close. Let's do three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, let's just do ten. Ten's a good number. Yeah, I think that'll work out nicely. So what I'm going to do is just hollow this out a little bit. And I normally fast forward, <coughs> but I'm going to leave it open for a few minutes while I chat with you guys. So I'm throwing around some ideas. Now, don't get disappointed. I have no interest in slowing down or stopping the Minecraft videos. But I do want to expand out to a few other things that I like. <coughs> now... Namely, the old NES games, and most of them have already been done, and in all honesty, there's only a few that I would like to do that, would, that I would really have fun with. One of the big problems with that is I don't think you guys would like it. Um, <laughs> so, and I'm very interested in getting viewers. Another thing is I was thinking about doing a little role-playing type deal with Ultima Online and kind of showing you guys how that game works. There's a free server out there called You Demise, and I've played for it, played on it quite a few times, and uh, I like it a lot. It's uh, it's pretty fun. Now Ultima, I've played it for so long that it can tend to get boring for me. So, a short series might be good. The problem with Ultima is it's an MMORPG, so there's no real end to it. Just like Minecraft, except that I don't really get tired of this game. So, you guys let me know what you think. Um, as far as other games, I thought about Skyrim, but... I don't think my computer can run Skyrim and Fraps at the same time very well. So I'm going to avoid going I'm going to avoid that altogether. What I'd like to see, what I'd like to do is an RPG no matter what. Um if you guys have a different idea, 
an RPG or a strategy game. Um, the NES game that I'm thinking of is Family Kings of Ancient China. The music's great, the concept's great, the storyline's great, but the gameplay is, um, well, it's a little drab unless you're actually playing it. I don't think it's much fun to watch. I'm still going to do one. I don't know if I'm going to do it with commentary, uh, but I don't think it's going to be my next project. I could, but that all depends on what you guys tell me. And like I said, again, not going to interfere with my Minecraft vids. Not at all. You're still going to get a daily upload or more, depending on how my work schedule is and stuff. Most of my Minecraft time, I uh, the complications with that are upload times for the large episodes that I've been putting out. So, I, I can't really improve those stats, you know. Um, my connection here is pretty good, but it does take time. The render time's not bad at all on the big vids, but the upload times are. Excuse me, just a second while I get a count here. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay. 15 is good. Now I need to go in and do the same thing on the other side. 2, 3... Okay, so yeah, I'll just hack away at this for a little while. So yeah, really interested on what you guys think. Or maybe there's a favorite game that you guys have that y'all think I would enjoy. Um, I can try it out for y'all. I can even try it out on screen if Fraps will agree with it. Fraps needs a 3D engine that, uh, not a, I don't know if it's a 3D engine. I forget what they call it, but there's a certain aspect that it needs. I think it's GDI, they call it. Let me see if I remember what it is here. Video settings. Yeah. I don't remember. Oh, yeah, OpenGL. That's what I'm trying to think of. So it needs OpenGL to record. So if a game does not have OpenGL, it won't. It just simply won't screen capture. There's a couple of ways to fool it, I think, but... I have hard enough times making it do what I want it to do anyway, so let me make sure I'm in the middle here. Three, four, five, six, seven, three, four, five, six, yeah. So yeah, I'm good. Okay. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Huh, how about that? It just felt right. So anyway. My um, my computer's been working pretty well. I think the sound lag issue is completely fixed. Thank the Lord for that. That was pretty rough for a minute there. I really wasn't really wasn't looking forward to doing any upgrading right now. I don't think I'd like to upgrade this computer as much as I'd just like to change it out and donate it. The idea behind that is you can get so much now for a few hundred bucks. Uh, I'm not ready to do that now. I have some other expenditures on my list, but eventually I sure would like to. I had a lot of success in the past with buying units and putting a video card in them and just having great performance and now the stats on them are just they're outrageous for the prices it's good you know these aren't pixel lasting quite a bit too and I'm glad about that although diamond efficiency would be better but hey I'm happy with it On another side note, I've been watching some pretty interesting stuff on Minecraft. Um, I've been seeing a lot of texture packs that I like too. I think one was called Dokucraft. 
That one was pretty cool. Um, had some RPG elements to it. It was a little too far off for me to use for recording, I believe. But it was pretty cool. And as far as mods go, still haven't seen anything that fits with the theme that I'm going for. But I do have some cool things that I'm going to do with the current mod that I have. Uh, I watched a little bit more tutorial stuff on the, the zipline mod and got a little bit more familiar with that. And we have enough spiderweb or string to do pretty much anything that we want to with rope. Another thing is I'm dying to start using some wool, but I'm going to need to collect a little bit more for the things that I want to do with it. So I'm going to have to do some, it looks like some sheep farming. I'm going to go out with some shears and form some sheep. I might even bring a couple back and uh, corral them up, make them mate. I know you guys are dying to see sheep sex. <laughs> no, they don't really have relations on camera, guys. They, uh, the animation's actually kind of cool. You know, they kind of jump around a little bit. Got some little bubbly hearts that come up from them after you feed them wheat, and they make babies, and the babies are pretty cute. I think we're just about there, huh? No. Not even close. i tell you what. This mining stuff, when I was down in there earlier in my little, uh, the start of my branch mine, at least I had some monster sounds. I don't even have that down here. I hope you guys like the new textures. Oh, there's a monster sound. Yeah, I hope y'all like the new textures. The um, I just wanted a little bit more definition on the stone, mainly, and um, get out of those silly faces on the spawners and the uh, the mossy. I like the way the mossy looks now, and I'm intending to go back for that mossy that I saw in that original spider spawner. Which, by the way, I don't want to trap that one. The next trap I'll build, I'd like it to be for... I don't think I want to do zombies. Like, skeletons would be cool, because they yield arrows when you kill them. Or when they die altogether. And I don't really need it for the XP, because I got the spider one for XP if I need it. But um, I definitely want to kill trap for something that'll yield um, some more loot. Another thing about an XP form, um, if it's too high, it's a lot easier to trap the mobs. I believe, at least. Um, but you can do drowning traps or the use of lava blades, which is mainly putting a, putting a little bit of lava over a sign. That way the mob's upper half, when it gets ported in by water, kind of runs into that blade and burns it and kills it. So that's a pretty good little system. I've used some of those before. Uh, the drop traps as well, but if I make another drop trap, it's going to be something something different, something very different. Anyway, okay, we're almost all cleared up in here, which is good. And I'm already full on cobble, huh? Yeah, sure am. Let's do this. There we go. And I'll have to open this up here just to finish it off with cobblestone. How do you like the look of the new gravel? It's different. It's kind of a neat texture, I think. It's weird when you see it, like, on islands. <laughs> like, you know, you're sailing along or walking along and you see kind of like an island made of this stuff. It just looks pretty cool. Okay, so here we are. Open space. Nice, big, empty. So I think the the incinerator we can put on the main wall here. Let's go back, run and get our uh, oh, couple that we missed. Hello, sunshine. Okay. 
so we're going to get our smooth stone which we have no room for in our inventory just throw this sand down right quick and let's turn this into half blocks 48 60 63 yeah that looks real good and let's see how we want this first of all this is in a bad place oh uh, you know what I think I already <laughs> let's see I think I wanted this too because the incinerator I'd like to be too wide and you know about me and how I want it even so if I have an odd number of blocks I have to extend it out one two three four five six seven I do eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen Yep, it needs to be 14. So I'm going to do this. And one more down. Sorry about that, guys. Just a slight miscalculation on my part before planning. But I want my incinerator to be, incinerator to be too wide. It's just less aiming you have to do. And it doesn't need to be 3. 3 is too wide, plus I don't have the lava for that right now. Oh, and someone was asking me the other day, um, Zuljin, why don't you use uh, infinite lava spring instead of all that coal? Well, you can't make an infinite lava spring. It, the game won't let you. So, that's why. <laughs> it's, uh, you just can't do it. So, I would if I could, but I can't. So, that's why. All right, so the middle, let's see, we got a block of two, so we're going to go here, and we'll need it to be dug out right here, and here, and that's where our lava will be placed. Now, let's get out our smooth stone, half slabs. And we're going to surround this. I think I want to do... I think I'm going to need to do this too. No, it doesn't work like that, does it? This ought to be fine though. Okay. No, unfortunately, I can't do that either. I'm going to have to go above it, I believe. Maybe not. Yeah, it's not going to let me. Looks like I'm going to have to dig in to that. And... Hup, there. Perfect. And okay, let's fill that in before I forget. And the same thing goes here. Maybe not. Let's do this. Good deal. Now we have a spot where we can just do that. Okay. Let's see if this still works like I thought it like I think it will. Looks good to me. Except is it just me or should it be higher? I think so, huh? Yeah. I think I like it higher. Just for a little bit more viewing room. Hmm. 
Maybe I should just seal this up like that. Uh oh. No, none of that. Okay. Yeah. Thank God we don't have a wood house. You know, I already did that, playing around with this incinerator idea, and did a serious job on my wooden house, which was not cool. There's no way you can put it out either when it starts going. I believe they've improved it slightly. But, uh, it's still no, uh, it's still no picnic when it happens. So let's see. I think, by doing that, I'd still like to make all this half slabs. Let's see how we can place some of this stuff. Yeah. That looks good. Again with that. Oh, no, it didn't place. Let's try this. Now, can I place it? Yes. Great. Awesome. Okay. So, and I think I should make the back half slabs too. I don't think it's going to make a whole lot of difference because it's going to be behind that lava, but yeah, we got them. Why not? It's only stone, right? Okay. Oh no, we don't need to go that high. There. Alright. And now let's see how it looks. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, I think I need to take the whole layout of stone, just like I said before. Yeah, let's do that. And let's try not to burn ourselves. I think that looks good. And how about here? Can we do it here, too? Yeah, I think that'll work. But I think... We should... Maybe... Yeah. I think so. You see what I'm seeing, guys? You're probably like, that's good, but I like to make it pretty. Yeah, like that. And there you have it, y'all. There's our incinerator. I'm going to go ahead and cut these out as well, just to get the full view of the incinerator even from far out yeah awesome I like that okay maybe we should hollow out this whole row and line the inside with torches I think that would be a good idea Uh, I don't I don't think I want a skylight particularly the thought did occur to me but I know someone had asked for a skylight a while back I'll do something with a skylight soon promise just not a forge I want it to have like a subterranean feel Okay, there we go. Now, let's get some torches out. And let's do every other one. There we go with the last one, yeah. Okay, other one. Skip. Skip. 
Right. Now, check this out, y'all. Let's see how this looks. Can we do, like, give it the appearance of, like, a bearskin rug? How's that? I think that's pretty cool. Cool. Now we need to get some forges going on the walls. I don't like the lighting situation without those, but it's necessary. Let's go down to our workbench. And let's make some forges. I don't know if I'm going to be able to stack these. I don't think you can. Yeah, you sure can. Great. I think we ought to go with quite a few of them. Even though we won't use them all. 24. That's like 12 on each side. That's probably a good number to start with. That's just enough, actually. Three, four. Should I do them on the side walls? Uh, I'll tell you what, let's do that. That's a pretty cool look, isn't it? Yeah, I like that. And on this side, I'm going to do the same thing. see about the lighting situation here. I like that. And now because it's a forge, we're going to need a little vat for water. And why not make it an infinite spring? And I don't think we have quite enough on this. Let's go grab a little bit of water. I'll just go right outside and dip into my... Uh-oh. Uh <laughs> what did I do? Not the regular, not the smooth stone. Okay, so now I've got enough to make my infinite spring. Perfect. I wonder if... I know this is going to be messy. Let's do this. I think I like that better. And in actuality, it would be great if, since it's going down, it should work just like that. How about if we do this? Yeah. Neat. 
I think I like that. Okay. And now, I'd also like to take this wall and do a chest wall with it for weapons. Because that's something that we kind of lack. Finished goods has been working us for now, but I'd like to separate weapons and some armor. So, let's do some chests. Let's grab some wood. Yeah, that looks like a good one. I want to use this dark stuff. And put that in the stash. And we'll do... I think I'm going to have enough like that. No. Maybe like that. Five more? Fourteen? Fourteen's a good number. That's seven chests. I don't think I'll need that many. I think six doubles will be fine. And I want to do a different kind of configuration here. Uh, let's see how I'm going to do this. I'd like to do... Let's do... Something like that. Let me check something in the other room. It's separated by stone. I think I'm going to do some wood. I don't know if the aspens or the alpine, whatever you call that kind of wood, is going to work. I'd love to do it in coal blocks, but I can't yet because I don't have the right kind of pick. Let's see here. I'm just going to try a few things, guys, and see what I like. I know I keep putting up my own torches. And this is like making almost like a shelving unit. And if I do this, can I access both of them? Nope, sure can't. Not the uh, not the top one. So maybe I ought to triplicate the chests. And we can do... We can chop a hole right here. And wow, I can open all of them. I like that. And now we can accent it with the torches. And we can run torches on the entire side like that. And we'll run signs on this side. Uh, let's run torches on this side. How's that? Too many. Overkill. And I don't know of any other way of signing it and making it look uniform. So maybe we'll just have to figure that out. Okay. And let's get one more like that going. Let's just punch a hole in here. Is that too close? No, I think we'll be okay like that. Actually, with the way that lays out, I'd feel more comfortable with the furnaces on the inside. Let's move some of this right quick.
think I'm done with the half slabs just for now. Furnaces on the inside, yeah. That just makes it look a little better in my opinion. I don't like the way the corners mesh up. It's like it hides it. It's kind of like our other room, but I couldn't really figure out what to do with it. There. Okay, now we just put down the leftover chests. And put the torch up. Now I think it's safe bet to just do this. step back yeah I think that's a nice look guys it's pretty good I really like that all right y'all I'm gonna show y'all right quick what the branch mine looked like I just made it right towards this larger mountain here I figured it'd be a good place to start and Basically, I started tunneling my normal staircase all the way down. Yeah, it's a long way down. I had originally tried a couple different levels until I think I brought it down to right at 10 to 15 levels above bedrock for a good chance of diamond and redstone. And had me a little workshop set up here and this is basically all I did I started straight here I think I went a little bit further down and right at the end here I started branching out here we go see so I started to branch that way and that way and basically when I would hit an obstacle like a lot of lava that I didn't want to mess with I just back out and what I'm gonna do is take dirt and basically just seal it up to where I don't have any monster traffic because they're not real well lit and I started one here and I just go down. So, yeah, and that's how I got all those resources. So I just thought I'd share that with you. Okay, back to the task at hand. Okay. I'm thinking that this should probably be some sort of different material as well. What do you guys think? For now, I'm just going to accent it with torches to brighten it up. And the other thing I'm thinking about doing, let's see, we're going to have, that's for swords, hmm, what else, because we got four different types of armor, right, we have leather armor, we have chain armor, we have diamond armor, which we don't have yet, and we have, oh, we have gold armor, too. Hmm. I don't know. We'll figure something out, but we'll need to make some signs for it. Anyway, I think I want to do one more thing. And this is something that I haven't done yet, so you guys will probably enjoy this. Let's go to our finished goods. And... We have a piece of paper. We'll put this bucket up for now. And then we have sticks. And 
We're going to do just like this. Is that not how you make it? I could have sworn that was how you make a painting. Hmm. Maybe not. Ah, I think I know what it is. Maybe I'm wrong. But it's worth a try. Yeah, that's what I wanted, y'all. A painting. And with the texture pack, I believe I got some pretty interesting paintings. I want a big one. See, you can keep replacing these guys until you get your desired painting. And I want one that takes up the whole darn thing. This might take me quite a while. Come on, big one. I wish you can just select what you want. But I guess it just doesn't work like that. Maybe I should try it there. Maybe that's why it's not coming up. I know you can get some real large ones. I just want one that kind of at least fills up the top portion of it. It's still not what I want. Hmm. Well. I guess it's not going to happen the way we want it, guys. Oh, well. Well, I'm going to cut the episode for now. And when we come back, I'll make sure to have a decent-sized painting up there for you folks to see. And that'll be the, the, the completed forge and incinerator room. So, <laughs> I'm going to keep messing with this. Thank you guys for watching. As always, this is Zuljin signing off. And have a good day.